Hi, everyone, and welcome to an amazing session with Major League Baseball. Today, we will uncover how you can better harness the power of your data for smarter outcomes. Today, MLB has reimagined the fan experience by consolidating their data platform with Google Cloud. Using a combination of Anthos, Google Kubernetes Engine, Cloud SQL, BigQuery, Looker, and many other products, MLB has been able to drive deeper engagement with fans for today as well as the future. Before going any further, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Aditi Mishra within Google Cloud's data analytics team. And we have here Rob, who is the Senior Director of Software Engineering for StackCast Data at Major League Baseball. Thank you so much, Rob, for joining us today. Let me set the stage for our audience. More and more, the world is becoming digital in nature, and recent events have only accelerated the transformation. Companies today recognize that competing in a digital world ultimately means transforming both your technology stack and the operating model in your business. Based on a Bain consulting study in 2021, experts identified four patterns of digital transformation that are triggering companies to rebuild their entire IT stack to compete most effectively. Which of these ones do you identify with? The first one is called upheaval. This is the one where, as a company, you feel so much pressure to implement a new digital infrastructure, and it requires an entirely new set of foundational capabilities, hence the upheaval. The second one is called fragmentation. And this one is a company that has so many digital projects bubbling up across the company, but they lack the ability to actually prioritize them and scale them. That's because they need a unified data platform. The third one is called speed with modular updates. In this situation, your company needs to isolate the legacy systems that do work and rebuild or replace the part that does not work and needs to match your business needs. The fourth option is called new venture. And this is the type of company that realizes that instead of retooling their core operation, they may as well just create a brand new side business and start driving digital transformation from there. All four of these patterns require companies to invest in a data platform that helps them modernize and create business value. And Google is designed to help with just that. We've been a data company since the beginning. We've developed tools, frameworks, and open source systems that have powered Google and its core search engine. We run on the same proven and reliable technology principles that power Google's multi-billion user services. Here are four fundamental reasons why organizations choose Google. Number one, Google's platform is a complete unified data and AI solution. This means we have the ability to manage each and every stage of the data lifecycle, from running operations to managing transactional applications, all the way across to your data warehouse, data lakes, databases, and creating really rich data-driven experiences. Along with AI and ML, we find organizations are able to not only build improved insights, but also automate entire core business processes. The second reason why customers pick Google Cloud is because we were designed for speed, scale, security, and reliability for any size organization. Many of our customers actually have adopted our leading products such as BigQuery, Spanner, Looker, and our AI solutions to achieve that lower TCO and improve productivity for their data-driven applications. Google, as number three, is also very focused on openness. Our integration with open source standards and APIs ensures portability and extensibility to prevent lock-in. For example, a customer can leverage their open database implementation of choice when working with Google. They can also leverage open source technologies for data lake processing. Also, Google's data platform can run anywhere. For example, you can natively query data living on AWS and Azure and Google Cloud. And finally, Google has strategic partnerships with leading data-driven companies that help customers easily access insights from their data. Number four, Google has built-in ML and AI. At Google, AI is in our DNA. AI powers Google products that are loved and used by so many people, such as our search, our ads, and YouTube. We have leveraged this expertise to deliver a unified AI experience for our customers. 
Add to that our automated machine learning, we're able to ent enable entire data teams to drive business outcomes. All in all, we are a un unified ecosystem. We connect the different types of data processing and data sources to our customers' analytics, database, and data lake environments. Let me give you a few examples. BigQuery is our enterprise data warehouse, which enables customers to run analytics at scale with an industry-leading 4.9s SLA and up to 34% lower TCO than cloud data warehouse alternatives. Spanner is Google's battle-tested mission-critical database that provides awesome scale and consistency across regions and high availability of 5.9s uptime. It can process billions of requests in seconds. Looker is Google Cloud's premier business intelligence and embedded analytics offering. Looker also has a unique semantic modeling layer that allows organizations to easily define business logic. And then we have Vertex AI, in which organizations can now build custom models with 80% less, less code than some of our competitive platforms. With that, I want to hand it over to Rob to discuss MLB and its data transformation journey with Google. Thank you, Aditi. Uh, my name is Rob Engel, and I lead the software engineering group at Major League Baseball that's responsible for StatCast. StatCast is a tracking system that tracks everything about the game of baseball in the field, including all the players moving around, the speed at which the ball is thrown, the distance at which a home run's hit, as well as all the outcome-based results, such as the hit versus an error, or a ball versus a strike. I'll get into now MLB and our history a little bit. So Major League Baseball is the oldest professional sports league in the world. We currently have 30 teams that play for us, including 29 in the United States and one in Canada. Major League Baseball has a wide array of data use cases and a rich history and technology. We have a digital ticketing platform, which allows fans to buy tickets online and check in on using the ballpark app at the, at the game. We have a video streaming platform in MLB.tv which is a world-class streaming platform that lets fans all around the world watch the game at home on their connected devices or on the road when they're using our, our app on their phone. Also, we have content publishing to produce many articles about everything going on around the game. And lastly, we have award-winning mobile and web apps that leverage our live and historical statistics. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. So dating back to 2001, we first launched MLB's Game Day product. This is an online version of a box score and a play-by-play -play that tells you everything that's going on about the game, with the current score, the line score, the current batter, and the current pitcher. Fast forward to 2006, we were able to add 3D ball tracking to this. That was able to draw the trail of the ball, show the speed of the pitch, and even classify each pitch as a fastball or a curveball or whatever pitch type it is. Then, in 2015, we introduced live player and ball tracking. This was able to capture every ball movement, including the hit, the home run distance, every bounce, every throw, and every even every pickoff attempt. Additionally, the player tracking allowed us to gain new insights about who the fastest players were, who the best arm strengths are for outfielders, what the probability is a ball will be caught as it's being hit into the air, and who the best blocking catchers are. Today, we're proud to introduce our 3D pose tracking. This is 18 points per body that we're recording in real time at 30 frames per second. This allows you to render an entirely 3D immersive view of the game that has never been seen before. Think of it almost like a video game. And there's so many things that we could do with this technology, which I'll get into a little bit later. So let's talk about the data ingestion pipeline. Everything starts at the ballpark. We have sensors at the ballpark recording every movement of the ball and the players. This amounts to 30 plus terabytes of data now per season, now that we've introduced player tracking with Pose in 3D. We record all this in real time and deliver it up into Google's cloud. Additionally, we also have an operator at every ballpark uh, recording the outcome of everything. We have human and subjective outcomes that still happen in the game of baseball, from the umpire calling a ball or a strike, or the runner being safer out at first, or even the official score determining if a hit or an error happened. So all this data is recorded in real time and delivered to Google's cloud to our OLTP data analysis pipeline. This leverages Cloud SQL Postgres for transactional and operational type workloads. This allows us in sub-second latencies to deliver the current score of the game from the park to the cloud and out to all of our fans. Secondarily, we're also able to record the pitch of every speed in real time, deliver that to scoreboards, to broadcasters, as well as to all of our applications. 
Similarly, we're able to get the distance of every single home run, the launch angle, and the exit velocity, and get that information distributed out there before the batter is even done rounding the bases. And of course, we update our standings as soon as every single game is over. This makes for a very exciting experience during the postseason run. And lastly, we have stat leaderboards that update throughout the game as different stats are being recorded and allows for sortable stats to be updated to compare your favorite players and track different MVP races. Beyond the transactional data we just mentioned, we have OLAP data analysis. I like to call this more contextual information. So for instance, as soon as a ball is hit, we want to learn if this was the longest ball that's ever been hit or the longest for that player. Provide context about that. How many ballparks would this have been a home run in? Additionally, we were able to identify cool things about rookie debuts, for instance. So for instance, Steven Matz was the first pitcher ever to record three hits and four RBIs in his first major league game. Similarly, we're able to find when new streaks are achieved. This year, rookie Phenom Wander Franco had a 39-game on-base streak. That was good for the second longest streak in Rays franchise history. And, of course, just in 2021, MLB set a new record for the number of no-hitters thrown in a single season. Now, all this data is excellent, and us data nerds love it, but we also want to present it visually to all of our fans. So we have a big suite of great products that are able to take all of this data that we're generating, processing in Google's cloud, and delivering it in real time through a vast array of APIs to our fans. Also, we're able to leverage the same technology for the scoreboards in the stadium and our broadcasters, so we have all different views for the fans to see the game. Finally, we deliver all the data to the 30 MLB clubs, so they're able to leverage all of this data for different insights. They're able to use this data to determine who the best players are and help them with their roster building process. Now we'll get into the technologies used to make this all happen in Google's cloud. So first, we want to use a world-class big data company like Google and leverage what they have. Of course, with Google search, they're able to return all sorts of content in sub-second time to billions of users around the world always. Uh, if they're able to do that, I think that we could use that their technology to also help baseball data and what we're doing here. So that is very true, as we're able to use things like BigQuery for constant time query results for analytical queries. This lets us run ad hoc queries to find all sorts of different things, whether it's trying to determine what the next new stat might be, or helping us look at uh, the trend of baseball play over the last few years and see what's, why things are changing. This is also helps us use uh, all this big data for different business decisions. And that leads us to the second item here, business intelligence and embedded analytics. We're able to leverage Looker, which is a user interface that can sit on top of something like BigQuery to draw reports in a very visually compelling sense. We're able to use these to help quickly identify trends throughout the season, whether it's measuring our system performance or measuring the trends of actual data or anything else that we might be able to help make different important business decisions on. Third, we need something that's modern, scalable, and performant for our applications. As I said earlier, everything starts in the ballpark. So we're able to use Google's Anthos, which is an on-premise Kubernetes solution in our ballpark. We record and process a lot of data in the ballpark, and then we mirror it back up to Google's cloud where we use GKE, which is Google's cloud-based Kubernetes offering. In the cloud, we're able to scale up our APIs in just a matter of seconds to meet demand with the traffic numbers that come in. Likewise, we're able to scale back down when traffic numbers come back down after games end. I'll get into this later, but this is a huge cost savings for us as a company. We don't have to worry about keeping servers up and running at 24 seven, if we could dynamically scale up and down as, it, as the traffic demands it. And finally, but not least, uh, Google's Cloud's big data ca capabilities. We're leveraging Bigtable for all this big 30 hertz data I was just mentioning with the 30, with the, the pose tracking and the 3D different kinds of ways to track data. Traditionally, we would use relational databases for this, but now that we're recording so much data, we're truly entering a big data space. With this, we're able to scale and store hundreds of terabytes of data through many seasons of baseball. And with Bigtable, we can record and say this all in real time at very low uh, latencies, and it has five nines of availability. Likewise, we're using Cloud SQL Postgres for all of our transactional workloads. Cloud SQL Postgres has great availability and uptime, and it has sub-second replication across all of the regions that we utilize. This ensures that we have high availability and uptime to all of our end users, and we're able to fail over uh, very fast. 
Now we'll get into some reasons we chose Google. So number one, Google has foundations within big data. As Aditi and I mentioned, Google search is the premier product when it comes to big data and returning it to lots of users in real time. If Google can solve that, why not baseball using Google's products? We also have a great trust in our partnership with Google. We're able to work closely with the product managers for each of the Google Cloud products we use and mainly get advice on how we could use them best. Likewise, we're able to use Google product managers to learn what's on the roadmap or even suggest new features potentially. This has been an invaluable exercise so we can make our own plans and know when to expect things to be ready. Lastly, we gain massive value from cost savings, especially using Kubernetes. We're able to scale up and down based on traffic demands rather than have, to, rather than have dedicated servers at all times running just in case there's a traffic spike. Now we'll get into some of the results we've achieved with Google. MLB has forever had um, first-in-class digital products, and we want to keep up the pace and continue to innovate in this space. We want to be able to compete with other sports. Baseball has a huge, rich history in statistics, and we have great products that visualize this. Now that we're recording 3D player tracking in real time, just think of all the things that we'll be able to do with this data. Natasha here is a screenshot of our field vision product. Some of you may have seen this on MLB Network. Our analysts are able to use this immersive 3D experience to dive into a play in ways never been able to do before. There are plays where the traditional broadcast views just aren't able to capture a certain part of the play on camera. We're able to use this technology to place yourself anywhere on the field at any point in time on a play and really analyze something, such as a cutoff throw or a pickoff, pickoff attempt, or where a player is backing up another player or even positioning of players before, during, and after the play that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. Also, just think about how this could be leveraged in the future in, in products. Just imagine a virtual reality product in the future where you'd be able to put on a headset and place yourself anywhere in the stands, on the field, but, or just as a player. Uh, the, the possibilities are truly limitless, and this technology is going to be extremely exciting in the years to come. And, of course, this technology can be leveraged by the clubs. They're pulling this all in in real time to make insights about how they build their rosters, about what trades they're going to make, about what free agents they're going to sign. All this data is imperative to that decision making. And these are just a few of many results that we've been able to achieve by our partnership with Google Cloud. Well, now I'll go back to you, Aditi. Thank you so much, Rob. Really, really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone. We hope you enjoyed today's session. For more information about Google's data platform and any of our products, please visit our website and check out other sessions that go deeper into these topic areas. Thank you.